All right, all right. If we can get some sea riders organized here, just need to get this shared out to our outlets. We should be good to go. Let's see what we got. Should be doing four laps of hilly. Watopia, classic, classic course today. Four climbs to do today. Plenty, plenty, plenty of racing. See if we can get everyone dialed in and backing everyone else up. This should be really good. Make sure everything is up and running. It is good. So far, so good. Looks like reverse hilly is what I'm seeing on the course right now. It's a little bit different than what we thought. I don't know where neutral is going to be, but we can call out here in just a moment. Again, as we get everything shared out during the neutral rollout here. Great thing about this ride, easy, easy rollout, easy, easy ride. Make sure everyone is together. And then it gets a nice, fair start. Got one more place to go. About to get the fans on going here in just a moment. Nice big group staying together here. No messages quite as yet of where this meets will be, but I will jump in the page here in just a moment. Make sure uh, we know exactly where this is going to go off. Almost there, everybody. Just through Sprint Village. Got one more pass. We're going to jump into the Discord channel here in just a moment. Make sure we are good to roll. We are in the Discord channel. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, J-Flo. Hey, quick, quickly do my intro here. Good morning, this is Jason Flores. I am on board. <clears throat> on board with the Peloton here with Team ODZ, and I will be pacing the Sea Riders today. Last week, we had an awesome finish with a big group of B-Riders, so hoping to get some organization here, see if we can get these Sea Riders organized for a nice, good, clean, fun race. And glad to have everyone else here on Discord. Hope everyone had a really good weekend. We've got 22 viewers on board, hoping to make this a good race. Nice. All right. <laughs> what is it? Is it Hanks? Um, no, it's pretty much right on the sharp switchback. Oh, uh... oh, <laughs> wow. about a kilometer. I'll let G Mags call it. Half mile. Half mile. Half mile. All right. Lock and load, let's get ready to go. It is a loaded bunch. 
So even in a neutral ride, neutral race, you're gonna make sure you're on top of this pedal. Making sure you're not getting dropped, looking around for riders and being smart. Looking to see if there's riders in your category, moving forward, moving back, making sure that you're finding a good space for you to find. You just wanna go hard enough to make sure you're in the pack that you wanna be in moving forward, but definitely riding within your limits. Oh, yeah, let's not ride any faster than the, the ride leader here. <laughs> Looks like we do have Steven Wu from uh, Zwift Taiwan on board. Always nice to have him on this ride. I know he's a, he's a frequent rider of this race. A riders do have their work cut out for him. Being one of the highest grade category finishers in his country, being a very, very fast rider there, both online and in real life. As we know, those are can and are sometimes not the same. Uh oh. Alright, here we go. Go, 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 go. Here we go. Nice. Right at the middle. <laughs> That's what you meant. All right, so I'm headed through the pack here, looking for sea riders to group up on. Got Wild No Bark coming through. I'm trying to nice, hold a nice pace here. Good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining us on the stream. Just trying to get Sea Riders organized. Back off just a bit. But remember, the top of this category is 3.2 watts per kilogram. So, what we're going to want to make sure that riders stay within their zone and get the work done. Got one rider ahead of me. Might call him back. I've got two riders six seconds back. I have a feeling that's the bigger group here. There they are. Give them a second. Like they're going a nice sea pace there with uh, Greg Magnus. Here they come. One, two, at least two sea riders there. Here they come. All right. Well, this is easy. Looks like our ride leader's hanging out with us nice enough. I like that. Can't complain. So what we're looking for, about 3.2 steady. I'm gonna see if we can back off tots here. We're gonna bring them back. Yeah, everybody, there's a nice group behind us here. I'm gonna back off, we will chase tots if we need to. There we go. Yeah, 
I hate it. It's like his comeback. Now you found found yourself in a nice group. It's really important that you kind of pace yourself uphill, downhill, whichever way you're going. You want to make sure you're putting the time in where you need and catch closing those gaps. So right now, I'm going to be working with this group to see if we can close that gap to wild no bark. About 43 seconds. We definitely have our work cut out for us. But I've got a good, good group. What am I? A three. Seven riders. Seven riders can definitely do it. If anyone's gonna do it. There you go, it's coming down, 26 seconds. All right, we're looking at 3.2 on the front. 3.2 on the front here. Pull it back just a tad. There we go. Looking good, looking good. Looking really good. All right, we got a nice big group. Seven riders still trying to hold that pace. Oh, I look for that power up. One thing to remember is there's always speed in numbers, meaning holding this group, we've already closed 20 some odd seconds on the group ahead of us. That includes V riders. That's 20 seconds. 30 seconds. If you can be JP. <laughs> See David Swindle back there. Max Brandon's just missed this front group. They're about 17 seconds off. Steady and even, fellas. Steady and even. Oh no! What happened? I lose my stream. Oh good, still up and running, good. Scared me for a second there. Alright, good organized here, looking good. Alright, one thing I like about this view, especially when pacing, is that you're able to get a view all around and see where you're at. A lot of times you could jump in just on the single view, some really good ways, and I'll show you that. You get a view all around. So I could definitely show you that. So a lot of times, I like to race in uh, view three. Let me show you. So I'll jump in something like this. Nice and close, nice and tight. Yeah, what this will allow you to do is get close to those gaps. So as people go up, you can add a little RPM, make sure we're staying on. And make sure that top logo says close the gap. Doesn't happen just like that. Got one rider just barely off the front. No big deal. We're definitely closing gaps here. We'll check the gaps. Really tough to see the gaps during uh, the S's. Anytime there's a scale up and down, 
that group ahead of us is really putting it down. But there are riders coming back. Good, good, good. You'll notice you can get easy one, two seconds gap off the front, and it'll all come back in the end. So we have Kitamura coming back, and we have Leo Prince on his way. Still trying to close that gap. The wild black carter rider up there. Hey, Greg, Mitch. is anyone off the front at neutral? Yeah. Um, D. E. Cox, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, he was. Looking good. Now I've got Leo Prince, MCJ, JL, Y. Kitamura, and J. Reed. They're all. So as you hear the group leader calling out those, ri those riders that were okay. ahead. He's of like the beacon up the road 10 seconds from the lead group solo so they'll they'll be calling out crazy numbers riders who are ahead of the, the ride leader as we came through the start finish so yeah, we'll see the dz power all right um can't tell right now okay So as we come through, egging people to kind of join the group can definitely make the difference both in real life and in the game here. So being encouraging, letting people know, letting them know that we're here to help at a nice steady pace and make people feel safe in this group, someone to ride with. So we are closing that gap. We're a nice steady sub 40. We can definitely close this, but we need to stay together. We need to make sure on this climb we don't blow it up. So what I'll be doing is reminding riders, we're going to turn it up just a bit to get up this hill if we want to close gaps. This is where it's going to happen. This is what's going to make the difference. And then one thing to remind riders is that the draft still works going uphill. So that way you remind yourself to close those gaps. You not to go too hard, but the gap looks good. Let me back out a little bit. Here they come. Group looks really good working together. Happy to have the ride beacon with us. Shooting really good. We'll back out. Give us a little space. Really got to watch those numbers for everybody. But looking really good, by the way. Steady, steady, steady. Right. We'll be looking for 3.5. Oh, my control. <laughs> ah, Sensei Haskell. <laughs> nice. We'll be back in November.
All right, all right. Okay, nice and steady. 3.5. I'm going to get dropped by sea riders. I can feel it. It's a pretty good group. I think you can tell why I'm off the bounce. <laughs> I'll wait for J Flow. <laughs> it's gonna give you back up. <laughs> that you wanna roll over strong. 3.5, means 3.5 all the way up and over. Using that momentum to get you over that hill. A lot of times you feel that that uh, the climb ends at the top of the climb. But there's that little bit that people let off on that if you stay on top of the wheel, it'll allow you to get that little bit. Looks like really pulling this group up. We're doing really well. We'll give a second to regroup as this flattens out. There's one slight little bump that will allow us to get back together here. Good job. All right, so again, really scary sometimes to watch gaps. You gotta kind of formulate a plan, put it together, kind of stick to it. And that's what we've done here. And as we are on the same plane as those riders that we're chasing. Okay, Andy thinks. Specifically, name is legit, is the Jones, O'Neill, and then Wild Black Card. We will uh, grab them. Legitimately, legitimately what? He did some background checking on Cox and his, he has some legit inner life racing results. Wow. Oh, there you go. Where is he from, Andy? What's his full name? Birth date. I beat J Wag, but my <laughs> <laughs> well, I already got that. That's the first. Do you got any cool bike stuff you want to UK. I heard having zips in real life makes me faster on Twitch. If anybody wants to hook me up. So I'll remind the group that uh, rolling over the top and uh, having a chance to kind of relax and uh, kind of go downhill. A lot of times people want to smash it, especially in a group. You kind of need to really watch out. So what we'll do is we'll do three five like we're doing. We'll go all the way up and over. And then as we go downhill, we'll last for a little bit less, about 3.0 to keep this group together. We're definitely closing gaps. We've got Leo Prince back. We've got Kitamura back. We're just little by little going to inch our way towards the front of this end of the B race, front of the C race. But if you've just jumped on, this is the C race for the Magnus Monday race. There is no, there's only one C rider ahead of us, probably right on the brink of the edge. So, so far, so good.
Thanks, Andy. Appreciate the intel. Ooh, nice pan out. This group looks tight. Look at that from the helicopter view. <laughs> Looking good as we go through the bridge. Headed down. Just reminding everybody, steady is fast. We've caught an MCJ. Jones is doing 3.0. Definitely a rider to watch out for. But even us doing about 3.0, we will catch. Just a matter of time. 16 seconds left. Let's see if we can close those gaps. Looking really good. We've got plenty of draft from the riders around us. Remember, there are no power-ups in this game. As you notice, I went through, nothing came up. But it just gives us points, experience points, which one day we'll be able to use. Glad you're enjoying it, Muffin. Hey, comment in Discord. Some good fun, dudes. Well, uh, actually, I don't know if it's a girl or boy, but. I think I might know who it is. Oh, Arnold the Bloke, he says. Not how I thought it was. S. S. Arnold. Yeah, yeah, he's in there. All right. We are back and organized here. We are closing these gaps really nicely, one at a time. Adam Boyko was not kidding, he is coming to help us. Oh, I've been sick for a 
weeks. I'm just getting back on. I know. And, uh, yeah, Bra struggling. Brave effort. We're, we're steady 3.2. We're doing real good back here. We got a good group of 10 riders, so we're here if you need us. I'll, I'll be with you guys. Maybe. All right. So just a reminder of those guys. Let's see if we can switch this. Just a reminder to those guys in this group. Just holding that pace is really important. I'm really working on closing those gaps. We could actually let's see if we could do this. Demonstrate this. I'll go to view three. We'll be able to kind of back off on the pedal. There you go. As you close those gaps, you'll be able to uh, back off on the water. Just like a drop back just a tad. There you go. All right. So watch this. So I'm right on Grubby. What I'll be able to do is roll up. So let me see if I can find his avatar. I'm doing 2-5. Not exactly in the draft yet. You'll see a jump down. I'll drop down behind riders. All right, there we go. Got S. Arnold here. And I'll be able to back off. Even though the group is doing 3.0, can easily do 2.1 here and not fall back and get a chance to recover. So you kind of go in this up and down fashion of uh, increasing decreasing pace as you go. So you're not on full throttle the whole time. You may go up above, but as you roll in the draft like we are right now, really close, close enough to be able to read the logos, just like this on the Vision Rider here. You notice everyone's doing 3.8, and I'm barely doing 3.0. Still doing well on holding on. So I gotta close that gap. There you go. Right. There's our horse, and I'm Boyko. Bring it back out here. This group looks good. Good. This group is looking really big, really tight. We're looking at 16 and 10 to 12 riders here riding. Here up just a tad. Battling 3.5. We can set the pace for these fellas. Notice those gaps are coming down on Wild No Bark. I'll be on the same part of the hill as we are. This pack can easily, easily move faster than a 4.0 group. Easily, easily move faster than a 4.0 group. 
um, in a pack like 10 or 12 riders doing 3.2, 3.5. So really got a message out to people. You notice that a lot of riders' legs will start to kind of get tired here. And you can watch out for that. But it is looking good. Looks like the front group is about six minutes from here. It's about right for this course, going reverse. Group is about to enter the last lap. Nice. Pick up Jones with us. Next group about a minute ahead. This is gonna be a great finish. Everybody watching there? So the plan will be get this whole group up and over. <laughs> Andy, they need to repair that road back there. <laughs> so this looks like it's gonna be a good finish here. We've got 12 sea riders back here. So the plan will be to get these guys up and over the last climb, down the backside, let them duke it out. So, just like in real racing, you're gonna to need to make a decision if the group's gonna to stay together or someone's gonna go off the front. A lot of times with this level grade, a lot of guys are right at that limit. A group bunch sprint is gonna be where it's at. And that's where we're going today. I think I put 3.9, hold on. The distance countdown's never really been that accurate. It's almost like it's only accurate to the lap. Some yeah. things like it. Get more accurate maybe towards the end. Well, I don't know. It's definitely acting strange. It's not reliable for an attack, that's for sure. All right, Magnus, if you have Arnold there, we're gonna go to we're gonna go to three point zero here. So it'll be a good time to bring him on up. So a lot of times in games or in the game, everyone will be really cagey and not message. It definitely adds to the experience of writing in a group. As you message out, you get that camaraderie going on. Of course, to be thrown out of the window at 1,000 meters to go. Next target, S. Benjamin. It's actually rolling downhill. Magnus is coming right behind us. Good group here. Still a nice big group. I think we should be nine riders by the time we get to the bottom of this all.
one really interesting tidbit for guys that are riding, you'll come across a group like we are, and there's someone in a workout mode going just that little bit faster than you are. You can always look for that wheel. One of those in-game things, definitely. Nice job. We're just moving too quick over here, Greg. It's just streaming along, no worries. Yeah, they're getting close. You notice even two riders, one rider really putting it out and working for the other can make a huge difference. You'll notice Greg down there doing 4.0 plus and then Arnold doing 3.5 and that gap is closing. They're gonna catch us on this flat easily. On this first incline, they'll be right with us. So really trying to work with even just one or two riders can really make the difference. So as far as race tactics go, there's a lot to this. <laughs> <laughs> Batman trying to talk people into holding four or five on the last climb. <laughs> Classic. Tell them there's a group back there that's going to do three fight if he wants it. <laughs> oh. He's on here. Oh, there he is. Yeah, he's there. Yes. They're back. Still 12 meters. He's got it. Nice job. We are 8, 8k to go, 8k to go. Ah, come on Arnold, push. Come on. Muffin, you on here? You are. We're almost there. We just got 8k to go. This group is going to be fast. You've got this. You've got this. Come on up to the front. This is nice. Push, push, push. Come on. Jake, just a little bit more. Almost there. Come on, Arnold. Just gotta close one more gap. There you go. Nice job. Get in here. Get in the pack. There you go, Arnold. Max the pace. Recover and match the pace. There you go. All right, this group will come back together like this, nice and steady. Stay up here. <laughs> Can't back off now. This is it. Everyone's committed. You we got for this. Stay up there. There you go. All right. Good group. Got a nice quick pan out here. To what everyone looks like. Oh yeah, look at that. Working together, look at that. Yeah, Andy, I sweated. <laughs> nice view of the race here. 
side view cam. Big group of 10 or 12 riders coming through. Nice and steady. 3.2 just like planned. I'm gonna make for a nice finish. So a lot of times you gotta really measure yourself on this last hill. A lot of people try to go for it. But if in fact you are riding in that category, those riders are only gonna go, be able to go for so long and so hard, depending on the length. So being smart, picking a pace, getting yourself up and over, a lot of times could be the smart thing to do. And the other thing to think about is you're gonna need to go as fast as you need to go to stay with wheels, keeping all those things in mind. Because you always have someone with a breakout performance and you want to be close. But the C train is coming through this final lap. We've got 5k to go, 5k racing to go here. We're going to get this group up and over reverse KOM. Looking good. Let's go, Benjamin. Grab that wheel. See that rider just off the edge of the screen there. And the Eggemon to come on up. This is going to be the time to be part of the group. So if in fact, this is C riders across the board. Their threshold should be 3.2. Climbing at 3.5 for two to three minutes. To definitely put people in the red. And then from that point, they'll need to, as quickly as they can, recover on the downhill. And get ready for the final go, which I think, it sounds like that front group is there now. Maybe we could egg Justin to doing a final 1,000 meter as he does the final 1,000 meters, that would be amazing. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Done. I won. <laughs> That's awesome. Nice job. Thanks to the guys from ODZ, Boyko, Magnus, for keeping this group together. I'm sure they thank you. Their legs are suffering. Clicking around a little bit on their heart rates. They are not messing around. They're ready. We've got 3K. 3K to go. Yeah. 
Thanks, Andy. Thanks, Wallstrom. Tex, way to hold on to that lead group, man. Awesome work. Yeah, I tried. I didn't uh, give it the hardest push on the last lap. I was definitely I'm pretty sure you won the Bs pretty yeah. hard, you know? Yeah. yeah. So I gotta make sure I don't exceed 3.9999. <laughs> game in the game, game in the game. Hey, don't worry, I only did 3.7 and I won, so. All right, well, that makes me feel better. If you had three seven, I had three three. <laughs> no, it says your average is three five. I was a little worried on those three climbs how it would affect my numbers. <laughs> oh my god! Oh man! Oh man! Upgrade already, Batman! I know! I know! I went to four point oh four the other day, and that was a mistake. I gotta be careful. Killing you know, me smalls. Coming and I can't be an A. <laughs> You've been an A before. You know, it also helped on those climbs. You guys didn't do eight or nine for the three or four minutes. <laughs> well, it's my range. I can handle five. Here's what always happens when that climb. It strings out on the sharp part, and then it all comes back together on the remainder of the climb. Exactly. That's exactly where we're at right now. The C group just put themselves back together. Six riders just chasing one off the front. Looks like M. Tots has got a nice, healthy 10 seconds, but really put himself in the red. We're about to go downhill, take that turn, and see who of these riders can duke it out here for the finish. There's still a nice big group about to head downhill. I'm back out of it here. Here they come. As we go downhill, we can actually look around a bit. Let's see, let's see. Got M Tots. Nice. This guy's climbing with us. 170s across the board, 180s. Climbing 185. Looking good. Here we go. I'm gonna take you to the finish here as we go downhill. We'll go deep inside for the pack here. See which one of these four C riders are gonna take it. Your ODZ riders are not in this race. We'll be taking everybody out to the line. C riders, this is you. This is all you. Line up, knock them down. in front of this race. We got Leo Prince. We got Arnold on my wheel. Benjamin. He's right there. Final turn. Nice job, that was nice job. 
I'm Boba G. Jones. Final 200. Benjamin right in front of him. Full on sprint. Looks like Benjamin took it there. Nice job, Sea Riders. Nice job. All right, let's see what we got with our group. We got S. Benjamin. Sorry. Yes. S. Benjamin Jones, Arnold, Leo Prince. As they roll through the finish line here. Great race. Yeah. I think so. I think so. He did work better here on the back guy's side, so that's nice. Yeah. That's nice of him working, so that's good. All right, so just a reminder. Go ahead. I was going to say, if you get, if you, maybe he didn't know about this race, so the next time come back and stay in the neutral and maybe Absolute. do better. Absolutely, yeah. So one reminder, this ride Very is, cool. yeah, is really unique in the fact that it's a neutral start. Very similar to the likings of how it is in our in real life racing. So for those sea riders that stayed with the group, awesome. And definitely just goes to show, right in a group, we definitely closed lots of gaps because caught more than five, six riders easily without really pushing ourselves and staying within those limits of a sea rider. If in fact, that group is riding that pace, you can definitely close and go very, very quickly around this course. We average at about 3.4 riders around us, about 3.0, 3.2. So that is what you're looking at. If you look above us, you'll see those numbers in the 3.6 range. Definitely A category. I'm uh, sorry, B category above us and above. So looking around, we definitely put all these riders through the ringer. And so what a great race. Let me do my log off. I'll be back. All right, for everybody who stayed on board, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us today on the RaceCast and Checkouts with Live. We've got plenty, plenty of things, and don't forget, don't miss the weekend wrap-up. Replay of all our great top hits from the week. So check that out over the weekend. But again... I remember if I started the coffee pot before I came out on the bike, I had to go double check. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. That's right. I started the coffee pot. It's okay. Woo. I have the coffee pot by the bike. Dang, Tex, look at you. <laughs> In the orange jersey, even. Yeah, that was not because I put it.